Are you looking for a simple stock portfolio template that you can use right now? In this video, I'm going to share with you a simple stock portfolio template that you can use right now to track your investment portfolio in real time. The best part about this template is that it gets the data automatically for you and you can customize it to suit your specific needs. Okay, so as you can see, here's the free stock portfolio template. And as you can see, it's quite simple but yet at the same time is very powerful. So first it tells you the current portfolio allocation. This could be stocks or ETFs and it tells you the percentage that it represents based on the current value of these different assets. So this is cool to be able to see where your portfolio, in this case it seems like uh, with this fake numbers that we've entered, it seems like we have a pretty balanced portfolio. And then you also get to see here uh, your cost basis versus the current value of your portfolio at the current stock prices or ETF prices. So this tells us uh, very quickly if you're making a profit or a loss. In blue you see the amount that you've invested basically and here in red you see the portfolio value if you were to sell all of your assets at the current stock prices. Now let me show you how the stock portfolio template works. So as you can see, one of the main things that you need to enter is the company's ticker or ETF ticker. So that allows you to get the data that you need. So in this case, we have all these different tickers. And as you can see right here, we use the Wise Price function, which comes included in the Wise Sheets add-on that allows you to get historical stock financials, key metrics, growth metrics, dividend data, real-time data, etc. We have entire tutorials on Y sheets that you can check out on our channel. And as you can see, using this Wise Price function, you can get real-time data. So in this case, the way it works is simple. So here you're going to enter the symbols or the tickers. So we've selected all of these ones at once. And then you're going to enter the parameters. So to see what parameters are available, you can click on available data here. And as you can see in this case, what we're really looking for is the name and the price of these different tickers. If you click enter, what's gonna happen uh, is that the data will automatically refresh to the current stock prices. So as you can see, that's why the value changed because before we didn't have the data updated to the numbers that are currently right now at the time that I'm recording. And the cool thing is that anytime you want, you can press the refresh data button. And what this is gonna do is locate the cells that have the wise price function running, and it's gonna update them so you always get the latest data. So as you can imagine, once you have this information, especially the price in real time, then everything else becomes very easy to do. So. All you have to do at that point is just enter how much you've bought of that particular stock or ETF and then enter the average cost that you paid for that stock. And this is something that you can easily find through your broker. So in this case, you enter all of these values and then after that, the returns um, is very simple. All you have to do is follow this formula that's going to automatically calculate their returns based on the current price and your average cost. And this is gonna be done for every single company that you include. And then the current value of that particular stock, it's also gonna be based on the formula that you can see right now. So this allows you to calculate what would be the current value of your portfolio if you were to sell how much of that stock you own at the current stock price. And then once you have all that information, what's gonna happen is here you do the sum so that you know how much you've invested. The returns are calculated based on the difference between the sum of the current value and the difference between how much you've bought. So that tells you the total return or loss in your portfolio. And then, as I mentioned earlier, the current value is based on the sum of all these different values right here. From there, as you can imagine, it's very simple to take all this information and create a graph. So in this case, we have the pie chart that takes the current value as well as the different tickers. And then the same applies for the bar chart that takes uh, how much you've bought as well as the current value and allows you to more easily compare the two numbers. 
What I want to show you now is how you can customize this free stock portfolio template. So this is very simple. One of the things that you could do is to change one of the company stickers. So you can change the existing information. So for example, let's say that instead of Meta right here, we want to enter another company. So we're going to enter Coke. So all you have to do is enter Coke and then you would enter how much you bought. So in this case, let's say we bought 5,000 and our average cost was 415. As you can see, all of the data will be automatically updated for you in terms of the table right here, as well as the graphs. Now, obviously you may not want to change all the information that's available and replace it. But instead, what you may want to do is just continue to add more companies or ETFs. So let's actually do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add an ETF. So I'm going to add the SPY. And in this case, uh, the formatting you can change as well to make sure that it's consistent. The name, this is going to be populated. This is going to be populated. Um, in this case, how much we bought. So let's say we bought $2,000 and then the average cost, uh, we'll make the average cost once we see the current stock price of that ETF. So in that case, all you need to do is just adjust the wise price function to include this ticker as well. And everything else is already done. So as you can imagine, if you add a lot more tickers and expand this, you would just continue to do this. So in that case, what's going to happen is that the data will refresh. And if you get a spill error, what that means is that there's some cells that have data in them. So if that's the case for you, all you have to do is make sure that there's nothing underneath. So as you can see, I deleted everything that was here. And as you can see now, everything updated. So now we have uh, the name, which is the SPY ETF. Then we have the price. So here, let's say that our average cost was 347. As you can see now, all of the data updates, including the graphs. The cool thing about this stock portfolio template is that this works on Excel and Google Sheets, and you can customize it to have all the information that you're looking for. So for example, you can add a different tab on the spreadsheet to include tax information, to include dividend payments. And the cool thing is that using Y sheets, you can get that information like the dividends very easily. The last thing to cover is how do you get the stock portfolio template for free? So what you can do is very simple. All you have to do is go to www.ysheets.io, create a free trial account. And once you have a free trial account, you're going to download the add-in for Excel or Google Sheets. In terms of how to do it, it's very simple. You click here, insert, get add-ins. And then on Google Sheets, is a very similar process. Once you download it, you're going to log in with the account that you created. And then navigate to Wise Templates right here. And so here, you're going to be able to see a list of templates that are completely free to download. So in this case, the one you're looking for is the portfolio stock tracker. You're going to click here and it's going to download the file for you that already has the formulas and everything already in place. You can also have a look at all these different templates that are included here. And the great thing is that this template is completely free, like you can download it at no cost. And if you're also looking to get another way to get the data, you can also use other ways, like you can scrape the data, you can copy paste it if you're in a budget. However, if you are looking for stock financials, dividend data, and a whole bunch of other stuff that White Sheets covers, I do recommend that you get a premium White Sheets account because then you'll be able to get all that data for an unlimited number of companies. And by the way, if you have any questions about this process, just let me know in the comments. Now you know how the Excel stock portfolio works, how to download it, and most importantly, how to customize it to suit your specific needs. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and turn on the notification bell on so you get notified every time we create a video like this that's going to show you how you can become a better stock market investor. I'll see you in the next one.